Salute omnes, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek. And welcome back to another episode of Mega Man 5. We are now in the fourth fortress stage. How exciting! In the previous stage, or in the last episode I mean, we of course went through the third fortress stage and it was okay, but the boss was annoying as all get out. And this one has rather an interesting gimmick to it, which is that when you shoot these blocks, the stage starts falling down. It keeps falling until there's another one of those blocks on the bottom. So, shoot that one, and it falls down one. But, shoot both of those, and it drops two. Well, actually more than two, because these blocks are up here. And it is indeed possible to get crushed by the stage falling. Like that, which almost happened. Kind of reckless there, but it worked, I guess. And we're already at the end of the stage. Now this seems awfully suspicious. No boss rush or anything like that? And hello there, Protoman. Your whistle sounds a little bit off. Hey, what did you do that for? What? Okay, now that sounds a little more right. Two Protoman? What is this madness? Oh, of course. It was an imposter. And I don't know what L stands for. That's the only time in the series I think we ever see an L tank. Okay, now, this boss... I hate this boss. I remember this guy, too, and... He... Kind of does a few things... That the other ones did. He has his shields from the second one. He shoots buster pellets at you. And he is just unpredictable, unpredictable as all heck. Okay, I guess, um... The intervals between his shots seem pretty consistent. Wait, I'm actually gonna beat this guy without using a... Without using beat, which is his weakness, or an E-tank. Which is every boss's... Ah, I was so close. Okay, I wanna try that again. I don't think I've ever beaten that guy without using either his weakness or E-tanks, or both. So... Spikes. Fail! Ah, uh, well, that's what I get for being careless, I suppose. The spikes aren't even supposed to be the thing that kills you here. It's supposed to be, get, to be getting crushed, but... Well, okay, that bunch of spikes might kill you. But the rest are, like, not really in a position where they're hard to avoid, so... Anyway... Back up to the top. Oh yeah, I should have mentioned, the stage doesn't have a checkpoint. I know it's short and all, but... And it's not its not hard to get through that first part. It just kind of wastes your time not having a checkpoint there. This battle, you just really have to pay attention to the timing of everything. He seems to shoot the buster shots at a fairly consistent interval. Well, lag. I don't know if that threw me off or what, but... Problem is, it's kind of hard to predict when he starts to shoot. Ah, too bad I missed that shot. Well... No, oh, he had two units of health left! Uh, one more try, maybe? Wish they'd give me a checkpoint, though. All this is doing is using up video time. It did not need to be used up. Seriously. Oh, well. It's less annoying than the boss himself, so... How many lives do I have left anyway? Only three. I don't rem... Well, I don't know. We'll get to that. Just like the second boss. You can't hit this guy when his shields are protecting him. Which, again, ties in with the timing thing I mentioned. Okay, if you just want to stand there, 
as long as I can keep this up, I'm fine with that. I actually beat him! I actually did it! That is seriously the first time I have ever beaten that guy without special weapons or E-Tanks. So, we defeated the last fortress boss, does that mean we've beaten the game? Oh, no it doesn't! You've done well, Mega Man. I never expected you to defeat my powerful Dark Man robot. It's Dr. Wily! Until now I have managed to frame Proto Man for my crimes. But now, the real Proto Man has appeared and spoiled my plan! I am not doing very good at doing his voice, apparently. Dr. Light is a captive in my lab. Come if you dare! Ha ha ha! And now we see his UFO with its sound effects and wiggling eyebrows and all. Hello there again, Dr. Wily. And yes, there is a second fortress in this game, just like there was in Mega Man 4. Because, of course, it was Dr. Wily's fault all along. But we'll get to that next time.